Hey, 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 guys and girls, welcome to ifactner.com video tutorials. And we are discussing about computer networking. This is tutorial number five, and we will be discussing about intranets. We have already discussed about internet. We have defined internet as the network of networks. That means that all the networks, well, or most of the networks in the world, they are connected together. And they form the internet. The internet is the biggest network of the world. Or we may say that inter internet is the network between organizations and we are part of those organizations. But what about the networks that are intended only for the usage or for the purposes of within the organization? Then those networks which are only intended for the usage between the organization, that network is called intranet. You may think of intranet as the scaled down version of internet. That is, in bigger organizations, the internet provides all the services of the internet for example, web-based services, mail-based services, FTP-based services, collaboration tools, communication tools. They provide all the scaled-down services of the internet. But they are only intended for the employees of that particular organization and in most cases the external entities cannot access those services that are provided through intranet. So what are the benefits of intranet? It can increase uh, employees' productivity because it can provide better communication tools to the employees, better collaborative tools to the employees, and other services and resource sharing. Uh, for interaction and data sharing, information sharing, etc. So, uh, uh, when organizations may provide a little window in the internet for the external entities, for example, general public, or to their suppliers, or to their consumers, that is, they may share some information of the intranet through that window. And when organizations do share that information with the general public, suppliers, consumers, or other stakeholders, then we may call those windows or those networks as extranets and we will be discussing about extranets in our next tutorial so guys and girls thank you very much for uh, joining me and uh, if you would like to read more about intranets extranets and computer networking then please visit ifactner.com okay i see you in next tutorial Take care. Bye-bye.